It's time for another episode of I Am Northwest Arkansas, the podcast covering the intersection of business, culture, entrepreneurship, and life in general here in the Ozarks. Whether you are considering a move to this area or trying to learn more about the place you call home, we've got something special for you. Here's our host, Randy Wilbur. Hey folks, and welcome back to another episode of I Am Northwest Arkansas. I'm your host, Randy Wilburn, and today I've got a special, I guess I could call it a shortened version of the show. Today I wanted to just share some thoughts and experiences. We happen to be 28, technically 29 episodes into the podcast, and I really wanted to just share with the audience. I don't always get to do that because most of the times I'm interviewing other people. But I thought that from time to time, I would just insert myself uh, on in a different week and maybe give you a break from a long, long form interview. Uh, and I'd love to get your feedback and thoughts about the length of the show and all that good stuff. But I, I thought it would be good just to kind of reconnect with the audience here and kind of let you know what I'm working on and just some of my initial thoughts and I don't know, just what I've observed since starting this podcast a couple of months ago. I really didn't have any idea what was ultimately going to happen. I just knew that, and I told you this if you go back and listen to the first episode, which is technically the trailer, not episode one. Episode one is with Omar Kasem from... um, Juice Palm and Con Quesos and um, just an outstanding entrepreneur. But if you go back to the first episode, that's the trailer where I talk about my love of interviewing people and the goal of really getting out and meeting as many people as I can here in Northwest Arkansas, because really I didn't get a chance to do that for the first several years that I lived here because I was on the road working for a former um, employer. And now since I no longer work for them, I have a lot more freedom and I have a lot more flexibility and I'm absolutely loving it. Uh, I'm still working as hard as ever, maybe probably twice as much as I was working before, because not only am I doing this podcast, I'm also doing another podcast that I do for some of the consulting and training work that I do in the design industry space called Encourage, Build, Grow. But uh, I've got my hands full and I'm raising three sons with my wife and there's just a lot going on and I'm a, a soccer dad and... um basketball dad and a swim dad and uh, every every other kind of dad that you can think of taking the kids to altitude or any jump park that uh, will have them and uh, all that stuff that I get to do. But um, yeah, I just thought I would kind of just touch bases with the audience and check in with people, find out how they're liking the podcast. I love to get feedback. I'd love thoughts on where we can improve. I want to constantly evolve this podcast, as I've said before, and I say it every time when someone asks me, well, what's the podcast about? I always say it's it's the intersection of business, culture, entrepreneurship, and life in the Ozarks. Now, that means a lot, right? Because when you think of business, you think of Walmart, you think of J.B. Hunt, Tyson, all these major companies that are here doing amazing things in Northwest Arkansas. When you think of culture, We've got Theater Squared. We've got the Walton Arts Center. We've got Crystal Bridges. I mean, there's just so much culture. And speaking of which, I was at Crystal Bridges this past weekend with my mother and had an amazing time. And she, well, she's quite seasoned. She's an art veteran. She's been all over. She's been to the Louvre. She's been to some fabulous museums. And she was really, really impressed by what we had right here in our own little slice of heaven called Crystal Bridges, sitting on 120 acres, over 260,000 square feet of just outstanding museum space. And, you know, I got to say, I I think sometimes we forget all the cool things that we have in our backyard. Uh, We rode by the Amazium, which is a great, like, first-time museum experiential center for kids. And uh, I had to show my mom the model for the momentary, which is coming in in another year, if not sooner. And the momentary is going to be built right there by the 8th Street Market, which is right there at 8th and J Streets in Bentonville. And there's just so much happening here. And I 
I, that's the thing that, that I like the most about this podcast is it's just opening up the doors for me to find out everything that's going on. And however we get to relate, relay that information to you, the listener, um, you know, that's our goal is to share with you all the cool things that are happening, even the secret stuff that's going on that nobody's aware of, which clearly I was in the black on a lot of things. And, and now I know what's happening here in Northwest Arkansas. I'm somewhat plugged in. I have people like Anthony Sumlin and others that are good friends of mine that have made some major connections. And I've just met some really amazing people, including just the most recent episode, which was last week with uh, Chef Matt Cooper from The Preacher's Son. Absolutely amazing person. I got the chance to sit down a couple of episodes ago with Jeremy Gothrop, who runs the Roots Festival and who also owns Woodstone Pizzeria. And um, each week there's somebody new that I'm connecting with and getting a chance to learn a little bit more about. And, And I tell you, If you are thinking about coming to Northwest Arkansas, you're in for a treat here. There is so much going on. The people are so friendly. Um, The everything that's happening in this place is really cool. And I'm just excited that each day brings something new. And so I I really want to encourage you read all you can about Northwest Arkansas. Even the history of this area is is pretty amazing. Um, And it's just worth checking out. But if you're already here and you're not taking advantage of Northwest Arkansas, I got to tell you, this episode is that swift kick in the butt that you need to get out there and experience what Northwest Arkansas has to offer. Even if you're a student listening to this, and by the way, this is, we're right on the cusp of the first week of school at the University of Arkansas, and we actually hope to do more episodes on this podcast featuring different leaders from the University of Arkansas. I'd love to get a student or two on the I Am Northwest Arkansas podcast. We'd love to chat with anybody that is involved with and are affiliated with the university, whether teaching, whether studying, or otherwise. Uh, We we did have Dean Matt Waller on from the Sam Walton School of Business, and he was such a great interview, and I, I certainly would encourage you to check that out when you get a chance. That's just episode 14 of the I Am Northwest Arkansas podcast. And um, we just have some really cool people to interact with. And that's more than anything else. That's the thing that I like. I love the entrepreneurial aspect of Northwest Arkansas. There's so many, so many up and coming businesses, people that have graduated from the U of A and have decided not to leave because there's actually a pretty solid workforce here in Northwest Arkansas. When you look at Benton County, Washington County, when you look at the level, level of unemployment is almost negative. Everybody's got a job. There's like no excuse. If you don't work here in Northwest Arkansas, there, there's got to be a bigger reason fundamentally as to why that is. But anyway, I, I digress. The bottom line is that this is a hotbed of entrepreneurship. There are a lot of opportunities right here in your own backyard to take advantage of it. And I even want to encourage you that if you're just listening to this and you are you have a job, but you're looking for a side hustle or something along those lines, figure it out. This is the place to do it. Um, You could work online. Of course, you could do online marketing. You could do, um, uh, you could sell things online. You could do retail arbitrage. Uh, You could go to Goodwill and find some cool things and then list them on Poshmark and sell them. You could find cool stuff on the clearance shelf at Target and at Walmart and resell it on Amazon. There's a million different things that you could do. And uh, we probably will have some more episodes to talk more about that and how uh, entrepreneurship is playing a part here in Northwest Arkansas. As a matter of fact, we actually are going to have an upcoming episode where we're bringing somebody on that's going to speak to the very heart of the matter of what entrepreneurship represents here in this area. And I think you're going to, you're going to want to listen to that. We're actually also featuring the CEO of Junk Brands, which is a very successful company that works right up and has an office right up in Bentonville. Uh, and they sell those really cool headbands that I've started playing basketball in and tennis in and running and walking with my wife. And uh, I'm a sweater. If you don't know me, I am a sweater, and because I'm a sweater, it's just a headband is almost a must-have. Nobody wants to ball with me when I don't have a headband on because there's just sweat everywhere. So, But that's neither here nor there. I would just definitely encourage you to think about 
the different entrepreneurial suit pursuits that are out here and available to you, whether you're trying to start something in your home, whether you're trying to get connected with a up and coming firm that's in this area, Startup Junkie. There's so many different programs that are right here in Northwest Arkansas that are happening. And when you look at all of the, the actually look at the companies that are just growing out of this place. Look at Slim Chicken. Slim Chicken started out as one op, one spot, one store, and they've gone almost global. Uh, there are so many companies that have their roots here in Northwest Arkansas. And so uh, I would definitely encourage you to to take a closer look at what's happening here from an entrepreneurial perspective. Everybody's not going to always have a nine to five job. There are other opportunities out there. And I would suggest that as we as technology gets better and improves, as we open up new doors uh, of opportunity for the way people work, um, As companies are more open to allowing people to have a side gig, to moonlight and do other things, you know, Northwest Arkansas is really not a bad place to be when it comes to that. And you're in the center of it all. You're right here, but center south of the United States, just three hours south of Kansas City, about four and a half hours due north and east of Dallas. I mean, you're you're almost in the heart of it all. You really are. But, I mean, you know, there's just... There's so many options here, but I don't know. That's it. And then when you think of life, just life in general, what is it like living here? Uh, we've got the Buffalo River, which was the first national river in this country. There's just amazing fishing anywhere that you go all around the counties here in Arkansas. There's just a lot to do here. And then, of course, you've got Prairie Grove. You have several Civil War battlefields. There's so much history here. I've been doing a lot of research lately. I've been studying. Um, and, and as a history major in college, I've, I've studied everything. And lately, I've just been studying the, the, the diaspora of African Americans and how many left actually Arkansas to go to the West Coast, which I think is quite interesting. I mean, there's still a lot here, but a lot more um, moved to the West Coast you know, in during Jim, the Jim Crow South period and other times. And, you know, I think it's just, it's, it's, we should know our history and know what's going on. But I remember living out on the West Coast and I couldn't figure out why all my friends' parents were from Arkansas or Louisiana. But that's because a lot of them moved out there in the 30s, 40s, and 50s. And um, even before that. But, um, you know, that, that actually, some of that migration pattern dates back to the late 1800s after the Civil War. And I think it's just really interesting to see how this area has grown, yet it's still in its infancy. When you look at historically, they're really, I mean, the West was St. Louis. And we were, we're five hours west of St. Louis. So we were like the wild, wild west. We were like an open outpost, if you will. So, you know, Northwest Arkansas, we're still relatively young compared to places like Boston, where I lived for many years. And you can, you can, date things back to the late 1600s, early 1700s in Boston. And that's hard to do here. There was really nothing here back then. But uh, I think this area has continued to evolve. It's continued to change. And there's a lot of interesting things happening. So, so yeah, so we're going to continue to talk about those those things. And, and, and I think life in general here in the Ozarks, people always ask me, what's it like living here? And I, I say it's hard to describe it. But the easiest thing that I can say is that there's a lot of really friendly people that people are always have a handout and are willing to help you that this is a great place to raise a family that I would say overall, the temperature of relationships between um, different cultures is actually pretty good. And there's always room for improvement with that, but I, I could make that argument for any part of the country. So I just think that Northwest Arkansas is really not a bad place to be. My only argument is that it's so doggone expensive to fly into XNA. And XNA is just the code, the three-letter code for uh, Northwest Arkansas. You know, it's funny. My mother asked me the other day, why X? And Or actually, my wife asked me, and I, and I didn't have an answer for why X, but it's just XNA for Northwest Arkansas. And I guess the X is in there for some reason. But some three-letter codes for cities – are you you understand why they are like CLT for Charlotte it's kind of like sounds like Charlotte or um what is Chicago is um Chicago is what is Chicago I'm drawing a blank right now if you remember what Chicago is let me know well Midway in Chicago is MID that kind of makes sense Phoenix is PHX Tulsa is TUL and um 
Yeah, so, oh, Chicago's OHR. I think that's right. I'll have to look that up. But anyway, the idea here is that um, I still don't know why XNA or Northwest Arkansas's airport is called XNA, but it is. And my biggest issue with XNA is that it's so expensive to fly in and out of here. Um, Even for the simplest business trip, it does cost a lot of money. And I can only imagine what the travel budgets look like for uh, Tyson, for J.B. Hunt, and for Delta. uh, Not Delta, but for um, uh, Walmart. Because I see all of those people, Walmart folks, Tyson folks, and J.B. Hunt folks, at the airport on early Monday morning heading out to wherever they're going to make business happen. And um, that's really the only real issue I have. And I would suspect that if Southwest Airline ever comes here to Northwest Arkansas, I mean, it's already in Tulsa, but if it comes to Northwest Arkansas, that will be the great equalizer for us um, when it comes to the cost of airfares. And the other nice thing is that we have nonstop flights to a ton of cities. Um, We have nonstop flights as of today, uh, August of 2019, we have nonstop flights to New York. We have nonstop flights to DC. We have nonstop flights to Charlotte, to Atlanta, to Miami. Now we have a nonstop flight, obviously to Dallas, to Houston. We have a nonstop flight to Chicago. We used to have one to Detroit. Maybe we're getting it back. I'm not sure. We have a nonstop flight to Minneapolis. I think there's a nonstop flight to Salt Lake City. And I want to say we have a nonstop flight to Cincinnati. We have a nonstop flight to Las Vegas, one to Orlando. We have a nonstop flight to L.A. We have one to San Francisco. And I would imagine that at some point in time, we will have a nonstop flight to Seattle. But that's pretty good for a small airport like Northwest Arkansas's airport. And, um, you know, we'll see where it takes us. But we're growing. We've got a new parking garage there. There's a lot happening. So. Anyway, so that's that's the life piece of it. So when you when you look at the intersection of business, culture, entrepreneurship and life, there is a lot happening here in Northwest Arkansas. And I'm excited to talk about it every week. You know, this episode comes out. The goal is to get it out by about 12 noon every Monday morning. Rain or shine, it doesn't matter. We're going to always have a new episode. And some weeks, the way that I do these recordings is sometimes I have multiple episodes done in advance, and other times I only have one or two. So that's why today I decided, because I didn't have a specific episode set for today, and we really haven't laid out a huge editorial calendar for I Am Northwest Arkansas this year, but in 2020, we will be doing that. We're just kind of going with the flow and going with the people that have raised their hand and say, hey, I'd love to be on the podcast. But if you have something to share and you want to be on this podcast and somebody was kind enough to share it with you, or maybe you stumbled upon it, uh, we would love to talk with you about that and see how it might be a fit for our audience and see how it might be a fit for what we're doing here. But uh, I'm constantly amazed at the fact that I reach out to so many people in this area and to a man and to a woman that I reach out to, to ask them to come onto the podcast. Everybody says yes. And I really appreciate that. I I appreciate the simple fact that, you know, people want to support what we're doing here in Northwest Arkansas, what I'm doing here with this podcast. And, you know, I, I just really count my blessings every day for the great people that I come in contact with just because of this podcast. But I wanted to leave you with a couple of things before I end this episode. This is going to be a shorter episode than normal. So if you're on your treadmill trying to get your half hour run in or your elliptical or whatever, I apologize that this this episode may be done before you're done with your 30 minute workout. But don't worry, I'll be back bigger and badder than ever next week with a nice meaty episode for you to sink your teeth in. But I just wanted to share with you some statistics that I found about podcasting and the importance and growth of podcasts that currently right now, um, there are over 700,000 podcast shows out there, which is a lot. It's growing. Um, But to kind of compare that, there are about 2 million And I may have incorrectly stated this number in a previous podcast, but there are about 2 million YouTube channels and about 100 million blogs. So just for comparison's sake, podcasting, it's still in its nascent form. It's still early. This, this, This 
method of disseminating information, of sharing information is still new. But I'll say this, with 100 million Alexa devices out there, according to Amazon, and of course, you look at there's 2 billion Android devices with the ability to do voice search, and 1 billion iOS devices in the world with the ability to do voice search, voice is only going to continue to grow. There are going to be a lot of opportunities for, for this to take to take root and for it to have some real uh, foundational things happen in the near future. And so I think voice isn't going anywhere. Podcasts are only going to increase. I will hope, I hope that several new podcasts get developed here in Northwest Arkansas to talk about all the different things that are happening here and, you know, maybe even niche down into different areas. But uh, if anyone listening to this podcast wants to go through some ideas that they have about getting a podcast started, you can always hit me up at Randy at I am Northwest Arkansas dot com. Uh, I am certainly not trying to corner the market on podcasts. And I think that the more podcasts that represent a place, the better off we are because there are so many different ideas. There's so many different opinions about what's happening here in this area. And there's so many different niches to focus on that there's room for everybody. And voice, like I said, is only going to continue to grow. So if you have a predilection towards talking or if you're the kind of person that people say, man, well, you be quiet already. You just talk so much. You always have something to say. Yeah, maybe you want to channel some of that energy into a podcast because we could certainly we could certainly use more podcasters out there, especially in this area. I was just at um, the podcast movement event. I spoke at the event in uh, Orlando, Florida, just actually last week, and it, it's the largest podcast event in the world. And I met people from all over the world, and they were sharing stories stories with me about how their podcasting has grown. And I actually shared and encouraged a couple of people that want to do a similar podcast to what I'm doing in their neck of the woods. One guy that's in New Mexico, another person that's in Louisiana, and some other places. And I told them I kind of walked them through what I did. And you know what I told everybody the biggest benefit of doing this podcast is, and I've mentioned it earlier, but it's simply just getting to meet some really, really cool people. So it's definitely worth that. It is worth the price of admission. And uh, I really want to encourage you, if you seriously are thinking about doing a podcast, you should do it. And not only should you do it, but you should reach out to me and I'll help you do it any way that I can. Um I think that would be great. I actually work with and my on my day job as a consultant, as a trainer. I actually spend time working with firms, helping them to get their podcast off the ground and get it started and show them how to leverage voice in their uh, industry. And um, that's something that I really enjoy doing. And actually, it was partially doing this podcast and doing a previous podcast that I did that helped w- awaken that that desire in me to do that. And so I spent a lot of time, especially in the last six months, working with clients, helping them get podcasts off the ground and and doing work like that. And so that's something that I really, I really like to do. And so hopefully uh, you'll see that as I continue to grow this show, as I continue to create new opportunities through uh, I am Northwest Arkansas, that we will, uh, we'll continue to, um, develop the consulting work that I do in this area and that I can help more people do it. But uh, even if somebody just wants to do it as a hobby, you know, come see me, come talk to me, hit me up, Randy at I am Northwest Arkansas.com. I'd love to chat with you about ways that I could help you out, give you some ideas, uh, maybe even sit down and grab a cup of coffee with you. And um, we can talk about it and figure out how you can get whatever idea you have off the ground, especially from a voice perspective, because The sky is the limit, and it's wide open right now, so I would really encourage you to check it out. Um, That's pretty much all I have right now to share with you. Again, I want to remind you a couple of things. We have several episodes out. As of right now, we have 28 episodes, and by the end of this year, we will probably be, with the number of weeks left in this year, I want to say, let's see, 444, 16, 2... 18, maybe 20 more episodes in 2019. So that's going to put us right at about 48 episodes this year. Next year, we'll have 52 plus. I'm also going to do some special events from time to time. 
And I actually have some stuff that I've recorded, some interviews that I did that I haven't even released yet that I'm going to do a special release on. And I'm going to let you, the audience, know about that in the near future. It is it is some really, the really, really cool interviews from some really, really cool people that spent some time here in Northwest Arkansas and had a lot to share with the things that they're working on. So I will be sure to let you know about that when it's ready to uh, to drop. But in the meantime, each week, my goal is to just bring you something new and fresh, something maybe that you haven't heard about before. And I'm going to continue to evolve this medium. I'm going to continue to give you different ways to share all the cool things that are happening here in Northwest Arkansas. And I really want your feedback. I, I really appreciate everyone that has taken time out to write a review we love reviews, um, but you, you don't always have to write a review. I mean, you can also just send us an email and tell us what you think about the podcast, whether you love it, whether you hate it, whether you want me to pound sand or whether you think I'm the greatest thing since sliced bread. Yeah, that's right. I said it, sliced bread. But I digress. Don't worry about that. Just reach out to us and share and let us know what you think about the podcast. You can subscribe to the podcast wherever great podcasts can be found. And we really encourage you to share with as many people as possible. One of the things that we do do is that online, we try to push out through social media clips of each podcast episode. And we're actually going back now because we have a new technology at our disposal, which will allow us to give you a sna- a sample of an episode and share that with you. And if you choose to, you can listen to the whole episode or just listen to that sample. And what I'm going in right now is getting some really good quotes from each episode. And we're creating samples of those quotes to share out to our audience. So I encourage you to pass those around to people if you've told them about this podcast. But you know how people give you that glossy eye look when you tell them, yeah, it's a podcast. Like I tried to explain to my mom like six ways from Sunday how to get a podcast. And then I just went on her compu- on her phone and I just went to the Google search bar and I I hit the microphone button and when it popped up I said find I am Northwest Arkansas podcast and all it did was bring my mother's uh Android phone right to the website for I am Northwest Arkansas.com. And then I showed her, this is how you listen to the podcast. You can do that. There's so many different things you can do. And by the way, you know, we do have a, a simple Alexa skill where you can listen to our podcast on Alexa. So, you know, Alexa is now available, obviously in your home and soon it will be available in your car and it's also available in your workplace. So if you like listening to this podcast and you don't necessarily want to be tied down to your phone, you can just say, Hey, Alexa, play the latest episode of the I am Northwest Arkansas podcast and it will play it for you. If you have any problems with that, let me know. But I do know that that Alexa skill works and you can pretty much listen to any podcast that way for the most part. That's, that's well, um, circulated and our podcast is we're on iHeartRadio, Stitcher, um obviously Apple Podcasts, Spotify, anywhere that you want to listen to a great podcast, you can find I am Northwest Arkansas. And if you are on some type of platform that doesn't have our podcast, please let me know cuz I'm pretty sure we've covered most of the bases, but if I'm missing something, well, that's news to me, but we'll get it fixed right away. So I think that's about it. I'm working on a new microphone today, so I hope you let me know what the sound quality is like. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I was at, uh, as I said, the conference last week in Orlando, and I picked up some gear for podcasting, and uh, this is the latest microphone that works really well. It was um, fairly inexpensive. I mean, it's not, it doesn't cost a lot of money to podcast, folks. You can, I can show you how to do it with your phone. You can start off with that. You can then get to get a microphone. You can record through your computer. You can record onto a digital recording device. You can record onto your iPhone or your Android. There's a million different ways to do it. It's really not as hard as you think it is. I think the real, where the rubber meets the road with regard to podcasting is that you always want to create great content. And that's what I strive to do on a regular basis. So certainly I hope you enjoyed this particular episode of I Am Northwest Arkansas, but Rest assured, each week we're going to come back with something new, and either we're, either we're going to cover the convergence of business, culture, entrepreneurship, and life, or we're going to focus or go deep in one of those four areas 
as it pertains to Northwest Arkansas. And we're going to con- continue to do that for some time. I've got a friend that's got a, a show that he does for Salt Lake City, and he's got 400 episodes. He's been doing this since 2012, and it's only gotten stronger and stronger and stronger since then. So there are a lot of opportunities to develop this space, and that's what we hope to do here at Northwest Arkansas. The other thing is that we have a really great T-shirt that we've put out, and it just says get 1% better every day. And the idea is is something that I learned when reading um, James Quick's book, Atomic Habits. Uh, James Quick, James Clear. And James Clear wrote a book called Atomic Habits. Really good book. I think I've read it three times now. But one of the stories that he talks about is how in life, sometimes we look to bite off more than we can chew. We look to try to conquer everything in one day, and it just doesn't work that way. But he said that if you just work, focus on, intently focus on just just a little micro improvement each day, you'd be surprised what you could do in one year. And that's why I'm just saying get 1% better each day. So now we have a t-shirt that says, if you see people wearing it, it says get 1% better each day. And I really want to encourage you, if you want one, let me know. Uh, email me at randy at iamnorthwestarkansas.com. Soon we will have a store on the website for iamnorthwestarkansas.com where you can order the t-shirt and all proceeds go to support this endeavor. But uh, it's a simple t-shirt with a maximized message. And it's one that certainly gets me up and out every day. And I've got my kids drinking the Kool-Aid and I have friends drinking the Kool-Aid when it comes to this maxim. And I, and I want to encourage you guys to be thinking about ways that you can improve yourself, improve your life. Just do it 1% at a time. That's all you have to do. And then when you look down and look at the cumulative effect of being able to do that over a period, a sustained period of time, well, at that point, the sky is the limit. It really is. And um, I hope that is encouraging for you because I know it is for me. And every time that I mention it or talk about it, it, it just keeps me, it, it's what fuels me and keeps me going. So I guess that's all I have to share. And I actually made it to 30 minutes plus. So those of you that were on the treadmill, I hope uh, you're welcome. And uh, I hope to certainly see you next week on another episode of I Am Northwest Arkansas. I'm your host, Randy Wilburn. And I got to tell you, I appreciate each and every one of you that takes time out of your busy schedule to put me between your ears and listen to what I have to say and listen to what the guests that I bring on this show have to say. So stay tuned for next week. We'll have another great episode for you. Again, I'm your host, Randy Wilburn, and this is I Am Northwest Arkansas, the podcast. We hope you enjoyed this episode of I Am Northwest Arkansas. Check us out each and every week, available anywhere that great podcasts can be found. For show notes or more information on becoming a guest, visit IamNorthwestArkansas.com. We'll see you next week on I Am Northwest Arkansas.